Hi guys, Greg from Drive here. Today we're going to be talking about one of our key products, the DC to DC Plus. Now many of you have heard about this product or heard about other brand DC to DCs. So a few different chapters we're going to run through today. We're going to run through um, about the product, why you need one. We're going to run through the specifications. We're then also going to run through the installation side of things, as well as looking at the operation and user settings. And then lastly, touch on fault finding. So, a DC to DC, why would you need one and what sort of applications? First off, our DC to DCs can be used in many different applications, including marine, uh, mobile, so we're talking about in your four wheel drive there, we're talking about a caravan as well, can be a camper trailer, uh, motor homes as well for example, also specialty vehicles as well, like uh, emergency vehicles as well. Pretty much anywhere where you want to charge an auxiliary battery from your primary start battery. Now why would you use a DC to DC rather than connecting directly to your start battery uh, via a relay for example, or maybe even just directly in parallel? A few key things here. Number one, the DC to DC charges accordingly to the battery specification. So therefore if you've got a lead acid battery, the charging algorithm is different to a lithium or different to a AGM. A key feature with the Enerdrive one is the screen on the front here also allows for complete custom programming side of things. Another great benefit of the DC to DC is it's soft startup as well. So therefore, as it's charging, it starts off low and starts to ramp up. That's good for the battery, but also good for the alternator and the complete charging system on the vehicle. Another key benefit, um, if you are charging a lead acid battery, also comes with the included temperature sensor there as well. So if the temperature is getting either high or low, Again, the charging algorithm within the DC to DC takes that in consideration there as well. Uh, lastly, it's also got a VSR built in. So what the VSR does, it monitors the bat battery voltage off your start vehicle. It won't actually start charging your auxiliary battery until the voltage is high enough. And similar, when you turn the ignition off, it will also monitor that voltage again and shut off. Another key feature as well, um, which we'll talk a little bit later on, is every three minutes it also does the same thing of sensing the voltage off your start battery to make sure your alternator is start charging accordingly.